today I'd like to teach you how to find the percent composition of each element inside of calcium sulfite. In order to do so, we first have to calculate the total mass, and that's what we're going to do now. Bam! So the first thing is I'm going to write down the elements in the compound. So we have calcium, Ca, we have sulfur, S, and we have oxygen, O. The next thing is to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript of calcium is a 1. Right? Even if there's nothing there, that does not mean it's a zero. It, it's, it is a one. All right. Uh, same thing for sulfur. The subscript of sulfur is a one as well. And then the subscript for oxygen is a three. So we have three oxygens. Then you're going to take those number of atoms now and you're going to multiply it by then the mass of each particular element. So where are we going to find these masses of calcium, sulfur, and oxygen? You got it. Periodic table. Let's take a look. Here's calcium, 40.08. Oxygen is 16. Sulfur is about 32.07. So let's write them in. So calcium is 40.08. Sulfur was 32.07, and oxygen here was 16. Then to find the total mass of each element in the compound here, we're going to take the mass of that element and multiply it by the number of atoms of that particular element. So the total mass of calcium here is 40.08. That's easy. Total mass of sulfur is going to be 32.07. Total mass of oxygen then is 16 times 3, so now that works out to be 48. And then all we're simply going to do is just add them together now to find now the total mass of the entire compound. So when we do that, it works out to be about 120.15. And this was now the first step of finding the percent composition, first finding the total mass. Now I'm going to add one more column to the table, and then this will be easy peasy. Bam. So to find the percent composition of calcium here, we're going to simply take the total mass of calcium, which was 40.08 and then divide it by the total mass of the compound, hence why we had to calculate that first. Then simply multiply it by 100. This is a simple percent formula, part over whole times 100. The part of calcium divided by the whole mass times 100 will equal the percent of calcium. So this will work out to be 33 point, roughly, this is 33, let me draw that a little neater, 33.36 percent. So that's the percent of then calcium. So how about for sulfur? Well, sulfur, we're simply going to take the total mass of that sulfur, which was 32.07, divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, which was 120.15, simply multiply that by 100, and now the percent of sulfur here will be 26.69%. All right? So that is the percent now for sulfur. And then last but not least is oxygen. So take the total mass of oxygen, which is 48. It's 48.00, but it doesn't really make a difference. Divide that then by 120.15, multiply it by 100, and get your percent. So this now works out to be, considering the rounding, this is 39, 39.95%. And what should happen is you should sum these together, and it should work out to then be 100%. Just a nice little way to check to make sure you're good. It might be, remember, if you're rounding some of these numbers in here, it might not work out to be identically 100. But if you added the exact answers up, it would be exactly 100%. Thanks so very much for tuning in. I do hope that helps. Now you know how to solve for the percent composition of calcium, sulfur, and oxygen in calcium sulfite. We'll see you in the next video.